Hi guys, my name is Katie or Kibi Does Art and today we're going to be looking at our keyboard. So go ahead and select that object and do edit and delete your history and then let's also just grab a plane really quick and scale it up and then just make the keyboard kind of sit on it. And then let's grab that keyboard. Uh, let's first add a sky dome light. Click on Arnold and grab a sky dome light and then grab the keyboard. Uh, do assign new material, shader, and AI standard surface. Uh, my keyboard's black, so I guess I'll make it black and then just up the roughness so it's a little more plasticky but not reflective. And then let's go to Arnold's render and oh, click on that plane and assign a new material to it. I always do this like cool checker texture just to kind of see how it you know, looks. Um, I was also noticing that I never really added, um, like, n numbers and letters onto this. So, um, I kind of think I, I want to do that. That would just be like adding text uh, to it and scaling that text and that kind of thing. Um, which, if you guys remember, is under create type, which is that guy. So uh, there's a couple different ways we could go about doing this. Um, I think that I would probably it like if you want it to be textured like that, um, it's gonna take a while, so you know just because you have to do a, a different like text layer for every single one. Um, so for example, like if you were gonna do, um, let's see, we could do a shift first. So you would type that in, you would scale it down, and then you would move it down to be uh, this button shift, scale it more, and then you have to make sure that it's like clipping the text and that it's at the right angle, and then it should be good. So as you can see, it's like going too far into the board, so you have to bring it up. You can also do some rotating to really make it fit. You can also click R and scale it up so that it's got a bit more leeway. Um, but yeah, so it would take you a while to do it. Not impossible though, you could totally do it. Um, but I would just make sure that like you get the correct looking uh, like font for whatever keyboard you want to do. This one's pretty plain actually, I kind of like this one. Um, but I am not gonna fully like go through and do that just because that would take literally forever and I don't need the model for that. Um, but if you want to, uh, that, that's a quick little how to, um, if I was doing it within Maya, you would just add it and then um, obviously like assign new material to it, do AI standard surface, make it white. I would up the roughness on them um, and you can see they'll look pretty good. So um, yeah, that's what I would do if you wanted to go that route. Um, all right, I think that's about it. So I'm not gonna go through and do all the letters if you want to, feel free. Uh, all you're going to do is just basically duplicate that object over and over again, move it, change the type, obviously. Um, yeah, so good luck. And if you have any questions, let me know. But I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye, guys.